Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm doing a full face of new makeup launches. There's been a ton of new makeup launched in the new year already. It has been crazy and overwhelming. Some of them have been really good new launches that I'm so excited to show you guys. Some have completely missed the mark and we will get into that later. But before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out whenever I post. But yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so it has been a while since I sat down to film and that is because I've been so ill. Oh my gosh, I got the worst cold of my life. Couldn't breathe, couldn't taste, couldn't smell. You can still hear it, I still sound congested but the show must go on and i have a ton of new and exciting products sitting in front of me i cannot wait to talk about them this one i wasn't going to talk about but i just want to be real and honest with you guys this was a total flop for me this is the one size secure the glow tacky hydrating primer i'm still playing around with this but every single time i've tried this it is pilled so bad on my skin i just cannot get this to work for me so if you've tried this primer, let me know what you thought and if you got it to work for you, let me know what you did because I use this with all of my go-to products and still just like pill city, it was really terrible. So unfortunately, this new launch was a flop. So I wanna make it work, but I just can't. There are two new complexion products that have come out recently that I really wanted to talk to you guys about. One of them being the Kosas BB Burst Tinted Gel Cream. This one I'm still testing to figure out if I like it or not. My first impression was really good, but then when I tried it again the second time, I didn't really like it as much, so I'm still playing around with this, but I have found a complete winner for me. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydra Glow Foundation, and I'm going to show you guys this in action on my skin today. This is a beautiful kind of hybrid between a tinted moisturizer type of product and a foundation. This gives beautiful coverage to the skin, light to medium, but it still gives you that very natural, hydrated looking skin. I absolutely love this so, so much. And you guys know I'm not really a foundation girl. This is stunning. I use the shade 1N06. My skin got so dry ever since being sick and this foundation has been just applying so nicely. It doesn't cling to any of my dry patches and I like how a few of my imperfections show through. I don't like my foundation to be too heavy or mask-like. I would way rather go in with some concealer to perfect everything, but I just think the glow and hydration of this foundation is so, so good. Moving on to some cream bronzer. This is new from Milani. This is their Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer in the shade 110 Hey Honey. Look at how satisfying this is. Brand new cream bronzer. I'm so curious to see how these perform. I've tried a few products from Milani and my experience with them has been really good, but I'm very picky with cream bronzers. This feels super creamy. I'm just going to dot a little bit on my cheeks here. Ooh, that color is quite nice. Once I've roughly placed that cream bronzer, I'm gonna blend it out using my Refai Duo Ended Brush. I love this one for cream bronzer. Okay, so first impression of this cream bronzer, it blended pretty easily. Critique, it could be a little bit creamier. I feel like it's a little bit patchy on the forehead area. I don't know if you guys can see. It also might be because I have very dry skin right now, but overall, I actually, I think I like this product. I still wanna test it a little bit more, but for a cream drugstore bronzer, this is really pretty. I don't mind the color. It's a little bit warmer than I would typically go, but not in a way that is too orange or weird looking. Definitely want to keep playing around with this. I'm sure by now we've all heard of the Milk Cooling Water Jelly Tint. This product has been so viral. I made a TikTok about it and a lot of you said you wanted to eat it, which I do understand I had to resist eating it myself. It totally looks like something you'd eat. I think these are so fun to look at, but it's actually a really beautiful blush. Spoiler alert, I've tried this product and I quite like them and I wasn't expecting to, so let me show you them in action. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this directly to my cheek and then immediately blend this out with a brush because it does have a quick working time. You really gotta blend it out pretty fast. Especially for the summertime, I think this blush will be so good because it lasts all day long. It really leaves a good stain on the skin. I find the key with this blush is to apply it over top of a foundation or a skin tint. On clean skin, it does really 
just stain a little too quickly and it's a lot harder to blend out. I find when I have a dewy base, this blends a lot easier. And by the way, I'm using the shade Spritz. In my opinion, this is the most natural looking shade. It's got a nice kind of red peachy tone and I just think it's so pretty. Moving on to concealer, this is new from YSL. This is their All Hours Precise Angles Concealer and I'm using the shade LC1. I've never tried this concealer, so this is a first impression. I'm really excited to try this out. The doe foot applicator is really interesting. It is very angular, so I'm curious to see how it applies. So in my opinion, the applicator is a good idea in essence, but I don't think enough product really gets on the end of the applicator. I kept having to dip back in to pick up more product. However, I will say the formula seems to have applied really beautiful on my skin. It blended out very nicely, didn't cling to any texture too badly, a little bit on my forehead where I'm very, very dry. But overall, I think this looks really nice. It's a bit of a more natural look. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. It covered everything I wanted it to. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. I think I want to layer a little bit more blush on the cheeks and I did want to talk about this product in particular as well. Say launched some new colors in their dew blushes and I've been obsessed with the shade Cutie. It's a rosy kind of dusty pink color and I just think it looks so natural on my cheeks. I've been wearing it all the time. This formula is my favorite cream blush formula right now. It is very dewy, easy to blend, gives enough coverage but not too much that it's too pigmented. Overall, I just absolutely am obsessed with these blushes. I love all the colors too. Moving into powder, I'm very curious to see how this looks on my skin. This is new from Huda Beauty. This is their new peach pie setting powder, which is obvious in the name. It's a peachy setting powder, which I'm shocked I hadn't seen more of these, but I'm very excited to see how this peach color looks. I'm just using a powder puff to press that into my under eye. This does a good job of mattifying the skin. I will say this really beautiful matte powder. I just don't know if you can tell on camera if you can see how it darkened my skin a little bit. I like everything about this powder other than I wish it was a little bit lighter. For the eyes, I'm honestly going to keep this super, super simple. I'm going to go in with my Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette. I'm going to mix the shades Desert and Mirage and just use those to kind of contour my eye and define the crease a little bit. I'm using the Refer 26 brush, which has been my favorite brush to define my crease lately. And I really just want to keep this light and natural. I'm also going to take that same color and run it along my lower lash line, stopping about halfway across. So I recently got this liquid eyeliner from Lancome. This is so pretty. It's like the champagne gold liquid shadow. I'm going to put that right on the center of my lids. I actually think that looks really pretty. It looks really natural if you blend it out. I like using my finger for this. It just diffuses it so nice, but it just gives a beautiful wash of champagne gold shimmer on the lids. I really like this so far. I'm going to put a little bit on the lower lash line. Hopefully that's not too much. A little bit goes a long way. This is actually so easy to blend out. It is very forgiving. Okay, I think that looks so pretty and it's so simple, very quick to do. I will definitely be using this again. This is probably one of my favorite products that I've used today, actually. I think it's gorgeous. You guys know I love brown eyeliner and I just got a new one from Milani. This is their Stay Put Tank Eyeliner. This is new, I've never tried it before. It looks like it has a felt tip, which I prefer a brush tip, but let's see how this applies. Okay, so first impression of this eyeliner, I like the color, it looks good. It was a little hard to use. I don't love a felt tip because they can be a little bit stiff and I find them less forgiving than a brush tip, which is what I absolutely prefer. The MAC Brush Brown Liquid Liners are my absolute favorite. This one also does skip a little bit if you go over it multiple times. So I can't say I recommend this one. However, if you want a brown liner on a budget, this is a more affordable option, but not something I would wholeheartedly recommend. I don't have any new mascaras to test out, so I'm just gonna go with an old favorite. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm gonna apply one coat to my top and bottom lashes. I want my lashes to look very light and airy and lengthened, not too thick. I want them to look almost natural, so I find one coat of this mascara does such a beautiful job of that. Moving on to lips, I am using another old favorite because I don't have a new product to test out, but this is Universal Earth by Makeup Forever. This is their Artist Color Pencil, and I love this for a lip liner. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a 
burgundy lip so this is my go-to lip pencil for that my lips are so dry so i don't know if going in with a velvet lipstick is a good idea but i'm gonna do it anyways this is new from dior i believe this is their rouge dior velvet lipstick in the shade 866 the texture on this lipstick is so beautiful and look at this color i cannot wait to put this on my lips but i do not have the heart to destroy this beautiful imprint on the lipstick so i'm going to use a brush and pick up a little bit on a spatula and apply it that way that color is so beautiful it's definitely reading more red on camera it's a little bit more burgundy in person i will say my lips are again so dry so i'm going to go in with a dior lip oil on top for a little bit of hydration to help with the texture i'm just using the shade pink mm, my lips feel so much more hydrated already i love the dior lip oils they're very thick which i really like personally i know not everyone likes that but i really do and i love slip combo i think it is so pretty what do you guys think that is it for this tutorial using all new products which products stood out to you guys the most i would love to know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we just hit 10,000 followers and i'm so grateful and just excited to see where this journey takes me YouTube has been a lot of fun for me and I really appreciate your guys' support. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.